see the white Dakota behind me. It's been a hot minute. And she took a real good beating. Last time I drove it, I went off-roading and um, things didn't go very smoothly. <laughs> It's got real like it's seriously like it's toasted. I'm not even lying. Hit him. Oh he snapped the strap. Okay, so crawling in here. There's dents. That's never a good sign. So what ended up happening was the actual pin came out of the diff, so the gears were were moving around. So being a tie, I'm going to try and fix it. I can literally stick my finger in here and move everything. See how that's moving in there? That's that's not okay. <laughs> There's a lot of metal in that oil too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best and find the original position that it was in and I'm gonna weld it there. Let's go over some damage real quick. Keep in mind this was a pretty mint truck. The box is just destroyed. I hit a lot of things. Um, not normal. This driver's door's dinged. Driver's fender is destroyed. Headlight gone, grill gone, headlight gone, fender gone. Tires are garbage. Somebody actually cut my exhaust off and stole my cat. Ding in passenger's door, ding here. Box is actually mangled, like look at that. Tail light's gone and the actual the whole tailgate is kind of like cambered the wrong way. I was actually drifting around and I blew up the diff and ended up getting it home. Four hour drive later, got it home and then I ended up ripping it again without taking it apart and checking it. But anyways, it's at the point where like it's not even usable. So in here, everything's just kind of loose. Bearings are gone and everything. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna weld the diff. Everything is moving around so much. Wow, this thing's destroyed. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm literally going to weld the diff, rip a couple burnouts, see if it blows up. If it blows up, I won't take it. If it doesn't blow up, I'm gonna take it. What's the worst thing that could happen, right? I'm gonna put air in these tires and put them on the balancer and see how bent they are because I don't wanna put bent wheels on and think that something else is broken. Not looking too bad. You know when the old MIG welder comes out, things are really bad. So, yeah. See that little piece of metal just chilling there? Oh my god. Got the fire extinguisher air. See how it has in and out play? I'm gonna have to try and get it in the middle before I weld it, or I'm gonna have a major problem and this is not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to center everything and then tack it. I can't even get this piece of metal unstuck in here because it's literally gotten jammed in there when it originally broke, I think. Oh. The pin isn't in the top here and that's, I found the pin. Now I'm gonna air up these tires that are absolutely done and I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna make sure this thing can do a burnout. And I'm just gonna leave the cap off because I need to, do some visuals on it while it's spinning, obviously, right? She's not even warmed up, but I'm still gonna do a burnout, whatever. Don't have time for that. Sketchy. 
that's the back. Oh my god. <laughs> This thing is toasted, man. <laughs> what? Oh, oh. Hey, bud, I think you might want to put some fluid in that dip. Eh? <laughs> what? It's smoking. Yeah, I see a little smoky. What broke? I have no idea. Oh, the dip broke. There's more metal now. <laughs> and then the noise will go away. Oh man, I wanted to take this on holidays. Yeah, so I'm doing the walk of shame right now. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, that blew right up. Kind of caught on fire, whatever you want to call it. Um, at least I know that I um, need a new diff. And maybe if I actually used that and went to number one, me and my girlfriend would be stranded and I would look like an absolute ass so that's the good news um, I did actually want to make sure it was safe obviously right and it's obviously not <laughs> so key back in the spot oops don't look at my plate anyways yeah this is Desiree my girlfriend so we are going to find out what gear ratio my rear end is because you saw in the video all the smoke and fire so we're gonna literally mark this B right here, and I'm gonna go underneath the truck, spin the drive shaft. She's gonna count how many times the wheel actually spins. Oh shoot, it's locked. Is that mark still on the bottom? Yeah, yeah I see. I should be able to spin it out. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's perfect. Ta da! Here is my new diff. It was quite the mission to actually find this guy. It uh, was all over the internet that these were worth about $600, and I was not down for that. So, after like 24 hours of looking straight, and I got this one for $225, and it is in great shape, actually. The yeah, there's rust and stuff, but, like, I don't care. I'm also going to be converting it to disc brakes because it has discs on. This is off of a newer model Dakota, so that is awesome, and nothing seized. It uh, seems like a very good diff, to be honest. I can't wait. So, what I'm going to do is just strip everything that I don't need off of it like this, take the cover off, um, probably take the brakes off. Um, I'm going to clean up the brakes, probably. Maybe not, actually. They look pretty decent. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, got the rotors off, and I'm going to actually remove the drum brakes that are for the e-brake just by doing this. Pop right out. Now it's time to take the diff cover off and then weld the diff. Got her on autopilot to heat up those gears before I weld them together. Welding the diff in three, two, one. And now it's welded. So 100% locked up. So when I spin the diff, both sides are spinning. So that means this thing is turning into a drift missile. Woo! <laughs> Awful freaking MIG welds, but honestly, oh well, it'll work. 
made sure everything's clean. Now I can put the cap back on with some RTV. It's gonna put RTV all the way around this cap. Got the cover on, it needs just to be tightened down in about 15 minutes. Got the brakes on, rotors on, everything's cleaned up. Deleted the e-brake. E-brake's all gone. Deleted the wiring for the newer Dakota. This is my old one, so this is literally going to just bolt right in, hopefully, and be good to go. Time to fire up old trusty. <laughs> You're gonna laugh when you hear the freaking rear end clunking. Holy. Yeah, this diff ain't healthy, boys. Put it in four by four by. I'm literally dragging the rear end. Drive shafts down, so I guess I'm gonna try and move this thing. The, lock, the back end is literally locked up, and I broke something from just trying to move the freaking truck. Drive shaft. Haha, <laughs> I was looking for you. Meet your new worst enemy. Put this thing on jack stands because that's not safe. And then I'm gonna bang the wheels off, bang all the things, hold the diff on, and then put it in. I'm getting my buddy to come over and give me a hand. Sweet, so I got the actual axle in, went in actually pretty smooth. Brakes are converted over to the actual rotors, so that's good as well. I don't even have my drive shaft in yet because I actually wrecked it, but I have to wait for tomorrow for that. I wanna see if the truck's gonna shake around like it was. It was like literally like death wobbling hard, and I obviously can't have that. I'm gonna go find some diff fluid, put it in there, and drive it with just the front drive shaft in and see if it's shaking and I'm just genuinely curious at this point. Here we go, filling her up with fluid and I'm gonna try it. Come on baby, please don't have that death wobble. Please, 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 please. On the highway, once it was going like 80K, it would just literally shake like crazy. So right now we're rolling out the actual diff and the drive shaft. So there's no drive shaft in there. Let's see what happens. Above 70k, it literally shakes horribly. So, uh, I don't know what it is. I don't. It's looking like the alignment is way out. As you can see, it's got a little bit of camber there, a little bit of camber as well. But the biggest problem on this side is that it's towed way out to the right, which is left in this case. Got her on cruise control. Bottom there. Go again. Yeah, Holy so shit. Bottom. Okay. So okay. <laughs> Right now I'm driving it to my buddy's shop so I can use this hoist with no drive shaft in it and a crazy amount of actual death wobble in the steering and everything. So this has been a hairy drive. It just died. <laughs> I'm literally pulling up the side of shop.
Ted Dakota. Those are the ones you want. Really? Is it solid? Yeah. I'm gonna have to take a look. Jesus. Cool. You should get that looked at sometime. <laughs> you should get that looked at sometime. Oh my god. Put some grease in there. Grease might take it up. So what happened? Did the did it just wear out on yeah, the inside? The just wears out on the inside. Gonna bang these out and put some new U joints in because I actually broke the one that was on my other diff. So don't really have a choice. Needs replaced or won't. Work. Greasing it up. Last up. So we changed the actual ball joints. You can see, still shaking real bad. I'm not even going 70k. Still the same problem. Um, Trainee's not shifting into first gear. Things are not looking good. I'm gonna try and change the speed sensor into the diff. Oh yeah. Sounds good. Sounds really good. It's been a differential, a transmission, and an engine. I actually blew up Red Ted today and threw a rod. It's knocking real, real bad. I could barely even get to work. I kind of just coasted in, so Dez saved the day. She came to save me. I'm gonna have to leave it here and deal with that later. I'm gonna probably put in the built engine that I had in my MX-3 in the back last season. That's what I've saved this one for. That's why I built the two new engines. So I have an engine to put in here. I just need to do the actual bearings in it and then it'll be fresh for here and it'll make way more power. I've always put engines that I've just kind of had laying around in this car because it's not really a race car. So it's never had to be fast or anything. So I've just kind of dealt with it like that. But yeah, so within seven days, I blew up a differential tranny and the engine so that was the two first two were in the dakota and now red tag so not good not good but we'll see you in the next one like comment subscribe and we'll see you later